Hey guys and gals, how we doing? It's me, Joe Sires, here back from the Music Factory Studios. Today I'm going to show you something really interesting that I was searching for an answer to and found out that my Mac already had that functionality. So I wanted to turn an image file into an ISO. And there are apps you can download and do this type of thing, but it's really easier just to do it in the terminal. But I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible so even the people who don't really feel comfortable using t the terminal will be fine doing this. So basically what I have here is some ISOs and operating system files that you could ins use to install an operating system on another computer. Basically what I did was without paying attention, I downloaded the new Nomad BSD Mac image and I was going to install it on Parallels and do a review of it. Well, the problem is, is Parallels doesn't like image files. It would rather you give it an ISO. And one of the software applications I had downloaded to switch an image to an ISO literally was taking 45 minutes and it hadn't even got to 25% of the way done. And I'm like, this is insanity. There's got to be a faster way. So I went searching through Apple's support pages and found that it's actually really simple to do so let's see if it's going to be simpler than the application that i had downloaded okay so what we need to do is first open the terminal you can find the terminal usually in your utilities folder if you don't have your utilities folder in the dock you can go to your applications scroll all the way down to the bottom and your utilities folder will be toward the end double click on that and there will be an app called Terminal. Now I'm using an app called iTerm, but they do the same thing. I like iTerm better. That's just me. I personally like iTerm as my terminal, but you can use the regular Mac OS terminal if you want to, okay? Now, next we need to get our image file, okay? Which is right here. And the image file I have is the Nomad BSD 1.3.2 image file. Now, now that we have that, we'll go over to our terminal and we will type H D I U T I L H D U H D I utils. Okay, basically. Convert. And then we're going to make a space after convert and drag and drop the Nomad BSD image file into the terminal. Okay. Now, next, I want to type dash format space capital U D T O space dash lowercase letter O and then I'm going to tell the terminal where to output it to so I'm going to output it to the same folder as the original so I'm going to copy everything up to the dot before IMG on the original I'm going to come over here and I'm going to paste that and I'm going to type dot I S O. Okay. Now the, remember the app that I used ran for about 45 minutes and made about a 25% dent in the whole process. And I said, this can't be, I've, I've seen windows apps do it just nearly instantaneously. So I'm like, there has to be a really a faster way in the, with all of the, the, the GNU utilities and FreeBSD utilities inside of Mac OS, there has to be a faster way than this slow app that I had downloaded. And so let's find out. Hmm, what did I do wrong? Oh no, what did I do wrong here? Oh, I know what I did wrong. You want to know what I did wrong? Do you see this little marker here? I left that marker out. So we're going to clear that. See, if you forget one little thing, it can not work. So what we're going to do 
is we're going to split this vertically and get rid of this thing. So we're going to do this all again. H D I util. Okay. Yes. Convert. Grab our image file. See how it has the apostrophe at both ends. Okay. Space. Make sure we have a space. One space. Dash format. Capital U. D T O. Dash O. And then we're going to output it. You could basically copy all of this, right? Paste it and then just change IMG to ISO. Aha, that would be simpler. Now let's test the speed since we did it correctly this time. Okay, that doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> There's no like percentage attached to it. Oh, it's done. Wow. Oh, well look there. There it is. Nomad BSD, we've got an ISO. Well, I hope that helps somebody out today. Basically, here is the command. HD utils convert. Drag and drop the ISO file or the image file. Then after you've dropped the image file, it's dash format space capital U D T O space dash lowercase O. And then just tell the terminal where you want to put it. Basically copy and paste the image file name and replace IMG with ISO. That's basically all you have to do. All right, guys and gals, I hope that helps somebody out. And, you know, mistakes happen when you do these types of things. And that's good. That shows you that, see, it won't break your system if you if you forget to do one little thing. It'll, it'll just tell you you didn't do it right. All right. Have a great day, y'all. And remember, if this helped you, thumbs up subscribe and hey since you're already here on youtube why not watch some more videos we've got some here on the music factory check them out they should be on your screen now have a great day y'all